Hey everyone, Squire here, or as we call it, Demon of Awari. Um, welcome to a new series. I figured with this channel, I'm not going to kill it, but I'm going to basically keep it going. The only difference though is, it's kind of like promoting my new channel rather than, you know, have a lot more videos on. Like say if you wanted, oh you should do a playthrough on this channel. I've got playthroughs on my other channel. Be sure to check them out. So links are, this, are in the description below. So what game are we playing? We are playing the original Crash Bandicoot game on the PS1. Now, I've not done a playthrough of this one, but I did do a stream of it. And I figured to myself, you know what? Let's do it. And it has been a while since I've played this game. I lost the what have we got? I lost that other app, but it's fine. So Crash Bandicoot was released in nineteen ninety six and it was a game created by Naughty Dog. Naughty Dog Legendary. Just legendary. Not only did they make an absolute fantastic game, it was just spectac spectacular. I remember when I first played this game, it was actually at my cousin's. And I don't think she was the one who, no, it, was, it wasn't she actually, no. Her husband actually had the game as well, it's just that, My other cousin had it as well, but I played it his first, so, yeah. Let me make sure I've got no more. Nope, there's one more there. Right. Be careful here. Right, hopefully I did get that box. If not, not a worry. We haven't died. I just feel like I've missed a box, but fingers crossed we're in we're just in that space of destruction. Wait a minute, wait a minute, yay! We got the box. Excellent. I don't know why I'm saving it because we're not actually doing a playthrough, we're just. Yeah. <laughs> mm. But yeah, I do have other Crash games on. They're on the the um, Squire VWG gaming channel, so be sure to check them out. So here's the demo game, well the demo level. This was actually the level. This I remember playing this level a lot, and I was like, I want to get this game, and we did in the end. We got the game. But it did feel so good. And it was a good game. So, let's just go through what the story is about. I should really have gone through that. This is actually my first one, so... My first video of doing something like this. So Crash is a mutant created by Dr. Cortex. Am I going to get it in? Nope, at the cost of a mask.
But we got all live, so it's good. So, Crash was made by Dr. Cortex and um, Dr. Nitrous Brio. But Crash was like what we call a failed experiment. Okay, so it's a failed experiment. What else do we know about him? Well, his girlfriend's still trapped in the castle. It's your job. For me to forget about Tanya. But, oh god. <laughs> we forgot about Tanya. Yay. Um, it's your job to get through the three islands. Wumper Island, Insanity Island, and Cortex Island. Crap. Well, I was actually going to fall there. Oh, perfect. We missed three boxes, though, but it's fine. Uh, I want to try and get to the first boss without dying. If, if we do die, don't worry about it. Like, It's been a while since I played this, and I forget that jumps can go a little too far than what I'm aiming for. So yeah, Cortex, Cortex Island, we need to get to. And just like any other game, you know, it doesn't get easier. I can still tell you my five hardest levels. Now, on the Insanity version, apart from the fact I just lost um, a mask, like an absolute twit, I can still tell you now the insanity version of this game has a different hardest level but on this version easy so let's go through them so my hardest level in this game well we'll go through the hardest levels I think Hardest level. Fifth hardest level is... What was it called? It was Native Fortress. That's the name. Yeah, Native Fortress. Similar to this level, except... There's a lot more jumping around. And when I say a lot more, a lot more jumping around. Native Fortress will always be is the hardest, well, fifth hardest level. For the next one, it's Sunset Feaster. I might actually do that on my gaming channel at some point. Just make a list of hardest levels and why. Would need the help of my mate though, because he's really good at that kind of thing. There we are. Twenty lives, seven percent complete. We're doing good. So Sunset Feaster, then it goes to Fumbling in the Dark, followed by in my opinion High Road. But Slippery Climb Hardest level in the game. In this one. In the remake. In the um, Insane Trilogy. The high road is above Slippery Climb. 
But let's not talk about Stormy Ascent. Because <laughs> that level was just like, the fuck? Yeah, I was like, are you kidding me? This is your level. Yo, they're well um, messing with me, aren't they? Also, I kind of like how Crash is looking left or right every time. I kind of missed that. They should have put that in the like in the Insane trilogy. That would have been an easy, well, good throwback. Another throwback as well is when Crash dies in the Insane trilogy. He's just a ghost. In this one, you get a cutscene where he spins around with his leg up a few times, going, whoa! And then just falls to his death. It is such a pity. Yeah, that was good. That was really good. Right, upstream. This is... Something. pretty good so far we haven't actually died but even then you know I've done this on stream already <laughs> you palonka yeah we that was that was typical We were doing so well! We were doing so well! And what do you do? You kill me. That's... That's brilliant. Oh crap. 1996. What a year. What have we got? I still can't believe I actually um, stopped gaming like when I was young. I was like, nah, I don't want to be a gamer. I like my toys. Now I've grown up and I'm like, I'm playing games left, right and centre. Also, just so people know, do not expect me to play games like Fortnite. That's a big no-no. No, 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 no. I will refuse to play those games I refuse and I don't care I am more than happy to refuse end of story
three boxes. Now we should be at the boss, which we've made the 15 minutes. So we've done our task. Now we just got to face the boss. There we go. Think that as you reach this fortress and now, you know, it's hot. And now you've got to get out the other way. But yeah, if we press the circle button, you can see all the other islands. Bear with me there. So here, with the skull, this is Insanity Island. The one over there is Wumper Island. And over here, as you can see, with that, like, thing sticking out, and the green slime in the distance, that's Cortex Castle, well, Cortex Island. And the castle is just under, it's just on top of that thing. <laughs> and that's where we need to go. But yeah, Crash Bandicoot definitely was a great game. I loved it. And I hope you all loved it when you played it. If you've never played it, though, you know, have a look at it. And try and admire the fact that that's what we had as children. And it was phenomenal. It was a groundbreaking 3D platformer. So, that's me out for today. I'll see you all on the next video. Take care. Have a nice day.